Well, hello everyone. Welcome to AVEX. So AVEX is an amazing company that got its start actually in the textile industry. And their first products were products for sewing machines. And then from there, they went into the film industry. And from there, into the automotive and transmission industry. Today, they're a tier one supplier to Daihatsu, tier two to Toyota. Now, some of the key learnings of AVEX is their Hankaten. Hankaten simply means a change point. There are four things that potentially could change in manufacturing, and they are man, method, material, and machine. And two-thirds of all the defects that AVEX has been able to identify come actually from these change points. So they pay very close attention to any time a man changes a method, material, or machine. Very critical learning. The second thing is they have a 10-minute education sheet. So everywhere you go in their facility, you'll see these laminated sheets everywhere. And they're for the purpose of conveying important work instructions to everybody in just 10 minutes, a very simple process, because they had a problem as they were growing, disseminating information effectively. So they came up with this 10-minute education or instruction sheet, and you'll see those everywhere. In addition to that, this is also how they spread monozukuri. Monozukuri, the ability to make things. And it's very important, these 10-minute education sheets, because this is how they spread the craft and technical ability to make things. So monozukuri. Monozukuri. Taken literally, it means crafting things. It means sourcing the finest raw materials and using the best, most sustainable process for producing a superior product, transforming the blessings of nature into products that bring joy and happiness to those around us. But monozukuri also incorporates the intangible aspects of making. We are taking great care of all of things, all of matters related to the quality, related to the product. This relentless pursuit of perfection can also be seen in the evolution and continuous refinement. Monozukuri is part art, part science, part craft, and a hundred percent of what we bring to everything we make. So as you can see, monozukuri has a very, very deep meaning. And this is how they spread monozukuri is through their 10-minute education sheets. And monozukuri, art, science, and craft, a very deep and important concept in the Japanese culture. Now, they're also a very precise company. They manufacture everything to 20 times smaller than a human hair. And, you know, one of the examples I give is when you walk into their bathrooms, they have these slippers, very precisely arranged and yet when our people go in they don't even pay attention to that they don't even see it and they come out and they leave them like this of course we make them go back in and straighten them out because the purpose of the tour is to teach people to start thinking and acting lean and adopting these standards of precision they also have a fabulous visual workplace all their bins have a purpose and a meaning the red bins are for defects the yellow ones are for drop parts blue for the last part and green is for their tools. Hi everyone, every time I go to Japan, I'm astounded by what I learn and see. And this time in this company, they make transmission parts, I found a cell that was really pretty magical the way it's set up. And the quality, the attention to detail was crazy. So she's measuring these little small parts to make sure the tolerances are perfect. Now, on the left hand side, she has a stack of yellow bins. The yellow bins indicate that's a stainless steel part. The clear bins on the other side indicate that they're ready for heat treat. So when they pass from one bin to the other, it signals them through visual controls what the part is all about. Now they have six red bins in the back. Those are six kinds of potential defects she could find, and she puts the appropriate defect in each one of the bins. The yellow bin indicates she dropped it on the floor, so that's automatically rejected. The blue bin indicates that she wasn't sure about whether or not the tolerances are right, and the green bin is where she keeps her tools. Now they find about three or four defects every 3,000 parts. There are work instructions hanging on the green board in the back. They're called 10-minute work instructions, all visual, and they can train any Anybody in 10 minutes how to do a procedure. Everything's on wheels, little dollies, carts, everything's marked out. Just very clear. This tray flips around.
down. It's at an angle, so she doesn't have to reach very far. When she gets done with the top one, she flips it around so they're orientated towards the back. They've thought about everything. They don't miss a thing, and their attention to detail is crazy. It's so crazy that when I got on the elevator, the gal noticed that I put on the wrong socks, and she said, "How come you put on the wrong socks? I didn't even notice I put on the wrong socks, and they noticed it." This is what Toyota quality is all about. So as you can see, that's why I titled my book, you know, Ban is Sloppiness, Fall in Love with Precision, because it's just, it's become very clear to me how sloppy I am and so many details I miss, but the Japanese seem to be able to see it all. So in that spirit, they have a 100% inspection on all 140 million parts that they make a year. Every part is touched and inspected for quality. They cannot let a defect get through to their customers. So they're also vertically integrated. They don't have any outside vendors. They actually do everything in-house. They program all their robots. They build all their automation as well. And the cool thing about this is this is what they're eventually going to go to as a company for their product because they see the, the, the industry phasing out the automotive industry and transmissions, and that's what they specialize in because of the EV market. So they're becoming very good at developing their own automation. Now, these automations both inspect their products and handle their products at the end of the uh, milling cycle. And so they've become very, very proficient at making all these automations. This is an example right here of their Kaizen team. And this is where they make all these automations that go at the end of all their machines. They have hundreds and hundreds of machines. This is what an automation handling part would look like. So this handles the parts if it comes off the end of the machine, eliminating people having to do it. And the beautiful thing about that is, as their company grows, one person used to be able to handle three machines, but now one person with the addition of the automation can handle up to 10 machines. So really significant improvements. Then they have a deep learning program where they buy old machines for significantly less than a new machine would cost, and they tear these machines apart and they understand every detail about how these machines work. And this is how they train their new people. And they're very, very clever because they have beautifully three people that are over 80 years old that are expert machinists, and they train the younger people on how to work on machines and understand how machines work. And this is how they vertically integrate and have become so good at producing automation in addition to their cylindrical parts for the automotive industry. It's really, really cool. Another thing you'll notice when you go there is they have rolling inspection tables. So at the end of all these machines, they have all these little rolling tables where they roll and inspect the parts at intervals, four intervals throughout the course of the day. And they have very prescribed times that they do this inspection time. And it's a very flexible system. And the last three points about Avis is they have three main goals for their people conscientiousness, mindfulness, and heartfulness. This is the way they want their people to work. AVIX is an amazing company, and I think you're really going to enjoy the tour, and you're going to see a lot of awesome things.